All right. All right. Huh? Huh? How many, how many people in this room? Am I in there? Am I in there? Yep, yep. Get on down here. Yep. You get on down here to get Okay, well, everybody, please get out their phones. Okay. Shout it out, family. Listen, one at a time, I want everybody to introduce. I want to know who's on the line. And we've got to do this thing with an order. The, listen, the conference calls have been running. Yes, we've been effective, okay, to a degree. If you want to do better, you got to do more. And what I mean by that, we're going to do this with excellence. I'm not going to come into a forum where everybody's talking at one time. We can't hear each other. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. That becomes a frustrating situation. And our people here today, because the water in their body is being reduced down to their purest form, their attention span is literally shade. Right there, baby. Shade. Fuck that. There you go. Fuck that until somebody tells us to move. Okay, now. So. Oh, fine, you say that might not be a good one. Okay, there you go, right there. What I mean by that is this: and what and these things will be lord in law to follow the what law, what in order to have order. We're going to have order in this forum, meaning there will be a set of rules that will be introduced to each of you, that we'll be asking that each of you abide by. These things will give us a greater communicative skill. Communication solves problems. Lack of communication only creates bigger ones than the ones you're trying to solve. But it's not just communication, you all. Proper communication by utilization of communication skills that are honed in by practice. Meaning we'll be talking more and more, but I'm tired of talking. I'm ready to get some things what done. Are y'all understanding me now? First thing I want to know is how many people are here, who they are, and I, I'm open to suggestions on how we can do this with an order by which we don't over talk each other. We know that the muting out situation has got to be done. When somebody else is talking, everybody has to mute their phones out. When you talk, that's the only time you come out of a muted out situation, then we don't have background noise, then that becomes one agent that we have just conquered and succeeded in not having to deal with anymore. Now, what I want to do is, okay, I'm going to assign, listen, Numbers to every name. Like in other words, you will have a number. Okay? I'll say member number one, which will be whoever that person is. Are you present? Then you'll come on the line. You'll introduce yourself. Yes. My name is Wawa. I'm member number one. And so on and so forth. Then we'll be taking a head count. Because if you're absent, you gotta have good reason. You can't just, while the family, check this out, is gathering together. You, man, listen, I'm not into, um, uh, like, in other words, excuses. Now, legitimate excuses you have to abide by. Well, this brother and sister couldn't make it today. Let me say something to you. These conference calls can be, be called at any time. You, I want you all to act and think like minute men. You never know what situation is arising. We all, as also I have to address, look at us as a real, go- listen, a new world order. What world order? I know. We that. You don't understand? At the end of the day, all of their governmental structures, you know, it says, on the day the trumpet shall be blown, the blue-eyed guilty shall be gathered together. Guess what? That trumpet is blowing right now. His name is Donald. Donald Trump. Blowing his horn every day in the leadership position 
And, well, and let me tell you something. Him and his toupee shouldn't be there. Why? Because he can't do shit. If he could, damn it, he just did it already. We're going to be just addressing problems of people all around the world. So we're also ice, right? And if we're also ice, then that means we got to be also nice with everything we do and everything we say. Let me tell you something. We sit at the top of the pile. A new world, what? To bring order, not just to our forum, but order to the entire planet. And how are we going to do it? Because we are first members of the ancient mystic, what? Order of necessity. To reinvent the wheel, y'all, all we got to do is use the one that has been tried, tested, and proven to work. Now, if anybody has any questions, after the second number system, Listen, by which every day we, or whatever, whenever we're in the forum, listen, I'll be asking, is member number one president? And you'll be, yes, I'm president. Is it, my name is Whoa. Everybody in the family will know who's on this line. Who has it. Identifies you. And also, when you're supposed to speak. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, you know, five is not going to talk when number one is supposed to be talking. Number three is not going to talk when number seven is supposed to be talking. Everybody will have the order of which we can get everybody. Listen, and then not just these, uh, but when we do video calls, I told you all you got to get the orange sheet of paper, the green sheet of paper, and a red sheet, a, a black sheet of paper. The orange sheet of paper will let me know as I look at the bottom of the screen that a question. It's, it's, like, it's like raising your hand. See, I'll be able to see the orange and know that there are questions there. Then, okay, there has to be someone who can who manages the overall situation, like, uh, like uh, I don't know, in the debate, you have a cat who says to the other person, time is up, now it's your turn, right? Now, so I got a certain amount of time to answer each question. When my time has come up, as has been going, like, then I will see the black being put onto the screen, letting me know whoever's monitoring the situation that my time is now up and having answered. You all will also be have, have a certain amount of time to ask questions and make comments. That black screen, when it comes on right over your, that lets you know that your time is what? Up. If indeed you see the green, that lets you know it's your turn to talk. Go right ahead and talk. We have to develop something because this man, please, has been running amok. And really, come on, if there is no order, they claim to being from the ancient of days. You follow me? My father was called the ancient of what? Days. Meaning, when you say ancient, you're saying it ain't sent to everybody a method. Our modes, our ways, our order is not shared because those things that are secret must remain sacred, and those things that are sacred must remain secret. So what goes on in our forum, I don't expect anyone to take outside of. If you do, every sparrow on the planet will let me know. Trust me, you do not want to violate these things, meaning what we talk about in our house, stays in our what? House. Until further what? Order. Then we take to the world. Take it to the street. We're going to have camera rays every what? Where? We're going to build our, listen, home. Again, by tearing down everything that don't need to be here. And then building up everything that does. What do I mean by that? Well, in order to, for it to be a new heaven and a new earth, let me tell you, we have to create a particular type of matrix that Anu will feel comfortable to sit in and to sit in and to live in and to listen, to be here with us. He ain't coming down here unless we make everything what? New. Meaning, I don't care what. If you see a, 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 a broken chair, you better fix it. If you see a house that needs to be painted, paint it, paint it, make everything new and what? Nice. And then we got to break up this concrete 
Why? Because they drained the globe with this whole crap, with this crap. Too much concrete. The concrete is draining everybody's what? Energy. And we have to take over the FCC. You see, where we monitor the frequencies and, the, listen, the sounds that enter into our airspace. And we have to do this by, listen, having a device like they have. Do you know how many frequencies are in your area right now that you can't see? Some of them are healthy. Other ones are not. You can't see a radio wave. Hey, man, turn the radio on. Turn the radio comes on. WBLS in New York, right? Okay, but you can't see that shit, right? Now what? You can't see a television wave. Right? But you turn the television on NBC, ABC, CBS. Well, we're going to come out with CCC, the Conscious Community Caring Network. I don't care. You can use any C. I mean, you can manipulate. All the C words belong to us. What do I mean by that? Because at the end of this, there will be no more C. Is that what it says? Meaning. There will be no more C because the circle will be made whole. We will stop calling ourselves the 12 tribes of Israel. We will stop calling ourselves the 12 tribes of, listen, Israel. And we are now known as the 24 tribes of El. We put the most high first. Men, the God men, Ra. The 24 tribes of El, Men, Ra. Meaning we will come finally together as a whole under the leadership of a governmental structure that is all wise, right, and exact, and such. You see? And why and how? Because our men have got to stand up and become protectors in life. Baba beat the drum for it to happen. But no women up there beating that drum now was. It was nothing but brothers, right? What that means is our brothers all over the globe have to go into the streets late night from 12 Six in the morning, dressed in black leather, telling all them niggas out there, look here, bro, come here, man. Check this out, dog. You ain't breaking no law around here no more. You ain't breaking in nobody's houses. You ain't doing none of that shit. And guess what? If you don't like it, somebody's going to be by to visit you. And we're going to put lumps on your ass, play congas on your dome. Do you have so many lumps on you, you won't know how to count them. You're going to mean it. And look here, you want to sell dope? Understand this, we all are so dope in this neighborhood. But on this here lick, I want one off every five, two off every ten to go back to the children. If you sell a nickel bag in this neighborhood, somebody and you don't get a dollar off of it, oh y'all got problems. See where my head is at? Now if anybody got a better plan, I'll be the first one to shut the fuck up and follow them. Now, anybody got something to say? Because here's where I'm at. We're going to give these numbers out here today, and we're going to follow these orders and these rules because we're going to have a constructive, listen, conference call that ain't running them up a free-for-all. Motherfuckers just talking as long as they want, however they want. Man, if everybody talks one time, how the hell are we going to hear each other? Tell me that. Now, Brandon. Okay, this is what I want done. I want, you know how many people are on the line. I hope you do. If you don't, we just need a means to find out. I want to know who's on the line. We're going to give everybody their number. Member number one, two, three, all, four, all, all the way through. These conference calls, I expect everybody to be front and center. Huh? We got six on the line. Who's on the line? Six people? Yes. Okay, now. And I'm the seventh. Right? Is it six including me? Is it six including me? Yes or no? Eight? Yeah. Including me and Aminette? <laughs> so it's seven without me and Aminette, correct? Uh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I see. Yes. Are there seven people on this line, Brandon, besides me and Aminette? I want to know. Yes. Okay, now, appoint the, appoint the numbers to each being. Each being, that's your number from now on. You talk according to your number. Okay? Now, appoint those numbers. Me and Amulet sit outside of that loop. We don't have numbers. 
Do what I actually do, Brandon. And do it quickly, quickly. I'm going to get a headache. I don't see who's on the call. He just answered the number. I point hey, those uh, numbers to know. everybody. Listen. I'll do it if you can't understand what I'm saying. It's, you know, it's like this no, ain't it. hard, man. I got you. I got it. I'm on it. So I'm going to call myself uh, number one. So this is Tank. Call number one. Okay. Okay, number now. Two. Uh, uh, two, you like Who is the second yourself? person? Who's the second I'm person, like Brandon? I, I you should found out. Like Brandon's the only one that's going to be talking. Okay. Who is number two? Man, I tell you, Brandon, if you make this difficult, look, I'm telling you, I'll get a headache real quick. Please do this right. Now, who is who? Who are you appointing to be member number two? I'll appoint him. Anthony, Ant. Anthony, are you on the line? Uh, Anthony, are you there? Is Anthony in this phone? So Ant's not here? So I know Roger is on. Dion, are you here? Huh? Roger's on, say, and his yeah. wife is Roger's on. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm Roger, on. Roger, be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Roger, you're number yes. two. Okay? Right. From now on, that's your number. Right. You speak second after after Tank speaks, okay? Now, number three, ready? Right. Is Dion on the line? Right huh? here, Chief, front and center. Front and center. Okay, Dion, you're, Dion, you're number three. All right. Okay? Now, okay, oh, come I on see. now. Who else is out there? Okay, there you go. Oh, I see. There you go, baby. Okay, now. Uh, let me think now. Is Ann, Ann is not on the line. Where's everybody? Is Maurice on I'm, the line? I'm, I'm about to get them right now. Maurice, are you Just here? Give me a second. Huh? Who I'm, is I'm contacting is them right now. This is Dion. I'm about to let them know right now. Who, Maurice? Yeah, okay, him and Brad. Dion, all I'm on the line. Thank all you. Right. See how this thing going run? I want you to know the one thing I'm not doing is playing. I'm not fucking around. I'm serious about this, y'all. And you all are going to have to get serious about it, what, too? Hi, right, baby boy. <laughs> huh? What say? Wife is on the line. Who? Hey, can we get my phone there? Oh, Sergeant Turner. Sergeant Turner on the line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, brother Cedric, you number four. You on the line, sir? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Cedric, you number four. Are you on the line, sir? Yeah, I'm here. Yes, sir. My wife From now is on, number. Member number four. Yes, sir. Okay, you and your wife stand as one. You follow me? Yes, sir. Okay, listen. What's your wife's name again? What is your Patricia. wife's name? Patricia. Say it again. Patricia. Patricia. Hey, I love you, honey. I love you. Now, listen. You and your wife. I love you, too. She sits with me. You feel me? Now, when the man has a wife, we all, you all, we stand as one unit. So, send it, you and the teacher, you understand the number one. Shada, shada, da. Who's that? The shoe. Shoe, okay, listen, you number five, shoe. That's your number. From now on. 
Okay? When we come up, you will be, listen, member number five. I will be watch. We're going to count it up. Member number one, two, three, everybody, listen. We'll have that turn to speak. When I first come on, everybody, has, I got to go. So this is how it's going to roll. You got me, Sue? Yeah, I got you. Are you there? Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Oh, I Lord, have mercy. Oh, you yeah. Okay. Let's put the phone out. Now, we got to get to this one. We don't have a number yet. Speak up. Who does not have a number yet? Say something. I'm on the line, Chief. Anthony's on the line. I'm on the line. I'm here. Shut it out. Okay, listen. Shout it out from here out to a number. Listen, we're going to do away with the number six. Let's throw the six number out. Fuck that. You number seven. We count like this. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Copy that. I like that, Chief. <laughs> Copy that. Thank you, Chief. Okay, that's how we do from now on. We go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. We don't even talk about number six no more. Fuck them. We that's don't right. have no six members in the house. So we got a total That's of nine on the line, including you. Huh? We have a total of nine on the line, including you. Okay, listen. So, Aunt, you number seven here? Yes, sir. Anthony. Yes, sir. You are number seven. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll copy that. Can you, you hear me? Number? Yeah, okay. Listen, anybody else don't have a number? If you don't have a number, say something so I know. Matter of fact, we're going to count like this, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, seven. We're going to get rid of the eight, two. That's the cold twist. We're going to go right to nine. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Right? We'll go to 10. Right? We'll go to 11. That represents the two witnesses. We'll go to 12, which represents the three dimensions. We'll go to 15. That represents me. We'll go to 14. That represents completion. And it also represents the number five, the center seat, which is divine love. We're going to have our own number system, a new numerology. Am I overstood? I'm not giving no, no, man, I'm not paying no respect to this devil in no way whatsoever. And we're going to tear his shit the fuck apart. I'm sick of it. No more, man. We got new children coming down, man. A GG. You're going to be born with three chromosomes. Y'all didn't know miracle babies are about to be made manifest. What do I mean by that? Women who've had their tubes tied, who've had hysterectomy, these are, are going to be becoming pregnant. Yeah, it's going to be on the news. Want to know why? Because I said so. I'm placing that order. And I have the authority invested in me all the way from the top. Don't believe me? Check it out. You understand? The newborn babies, these babies that are coming now, a geeky, meaning they've never been in physical form ever what before. This will be their first life. And these children will have three X chromosomes, being women, and two X chromosomes and one Y being male. And the chromosome project will be complete. The rainbow project is about to complete itself also, meaning heaven will materialize right here on what? Earth. This will become the eighth planet. It will be called RISP. This will become the 19th galaxy, called Ilion. And divine order will be restored. We will have three suns in our sky. Believe me, check it out. These days that we've been waiting on, and what I mean by that, so let me explain. The suns in Ilion, they had names, ready? One was called Apsu, Apsu, which is spelled A-B-S-U. We know Ab is a prefix, which means serve slave of, right? Now take Su, S-U, and turn it around because it's on the other side of the mirror. Bring it to this side where we can read it straight 
And it was saying, serving a slave for us. Well, that's what our son in the sky is right what? Now. Serving a slave for what? Us. And every day it shines. And it's the life giver. It's life as you now know it. Well, life is about to improve because you're going to have eternal what? Life. I'm talking about niggas living up fucking ever. Where you don't die. Huh? <laughs> that sound. 35 years old will be the absolute, check this out, oldest you will get. And you won't get any older and you will stay that age for what? Ever. And no, ain't no going to the grave. That's still to be out. Now, I'm not talking, let me tell you, I'm not talking about a long time from now, neither. What I'm talking about is as close as the distance between my two fingers. And it will come when you least what? Expect it. This war will be fought and won without 85% of the masses even know one, even knowing one blow has been struck. Just going to go outside one day, the most grimy motherfucker going to say, hey, how you doing? Grimy no more. Everything will change for the better. Why? Because I knew he was about to make this his home. I understood. Now, the second son in Ilion, listen, was called Utu. Utu. What that saying is, how was it spelled? Spell it. How do you spell Utu? Somebody talk. Anybody U-T-U. know? U-T-U. 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 Now stop. Mute the mute phone out. Mute the phone out. Ready? U-T-U. Right? Watch. What that saying is, you do. Meaning, that's is also a slave to what? Us. Now, what? That son, it now is called your moon. Because <laughs> we're going to ignite that moon with the, com- the completion of the rainbow what? Project. Well, he too will be in our skies here, serving us. Yeah, so we, now we got two sons up there. And where the third one going to come from? Let me explain. The third one is called Shemit. Shemit. The biggest one, like Shamsu, huh? That was Samson. You didn't know? That's his name. What was Shamsu known for? Samson. Like you heard of Samson and Delilah, right? Strength, right? He was known for his what? Strength, right? Well, his son is the biggest of all sons. Let me explain why. Beat your bones out. Absolute. Now it's touching this planet at its very center. It's causing this planet, however, quiet, it's causing this planet to run from its butt, which is not natural. Everything in nature moves towards the sun's touch. This planet is running away from the sun's touch. Why? Because she is alive and she thinks herself to be ugly. Why? Because she's been split in half, which is why a woman will get in the mirror now and look over her shoulder at her butt. And she says, baby, you think this dress too tight? Nigga, you knew the dress was too tight when you put it on. Don't ask me no questions. You already got the answers to. What do I mean by that? This is what human beings do here today. Our Nubian women, listen, are suffering in the same way that the planet suffers. The planet is moving away from the sun's touch. Watch now. Just like oftentimes your wife is moving away from your touch. Late night when you go to bed, get off me, I'm sleep. You're like, what the fuck? That's your mind? Nigga, this is our time. You sleep, nigga, you better wake your ass what? Up. Up. Because let me tell you, every woman on this planet was made for man to touch. You all are holy creatures. You have many holes that need to be filled, but you don't know. And here it is you want to talk about when I get in the bed not to touch you? Are you crazy? Are you my wife? And you wonder why I'm running somewhere else. Because when it comes time, you running from my touch. Why? It's too hot. Why? And you don't want me to tell you about your what? Self. Well, let me say something. The four crafts 
that we have lodged to keep you into your orbit. This planet looks at looks at those four crafts now like it's a noose around its neck. A nuisance is what this this planet looks at those look, four crafts like but like it's a, a nuisance. Yeah, it is a new scent to keep it into its what? Orbit, to lock it in what? Place. And you, I know you don't want to hear me tell you what you want to know, what you need to know, sir, in order, because you want to spin out, but it kill us all in the next generation as well. Why? You don't want no restraint. You don't want nobody telling you what to do, how to do, when to come, when not to. I know that. All of you new women, women out there, you ain't going to tell no. I say, how much money you got? I ain't got to tell you how much money I got. I don't, I don't even tell my father that. Yeah, yeah, but you'll tell them white folks, though. When they tell, ask how many, how many children you got in the home, how, many, how much money you got in your checking savings account, yeah, you'll sit down in front of governmental agencies and seek out assistance and steal all the beans. Give up all the family jewels. But meanwhile, as your husband, you ain't going to tell me. Something's what? Wrong. See? Governmental agencies you have sought assistance from, such as the welfare that is said, welfare to every Nubian man, on the farewell to every Nubian man in our homes, to the point where you like, this is my Section 8. What? This is my, my place. You better go out and get a what? Job. And then that Nubian men across the globe. Right there, let me tell you, I seen your tears. I felt the pain. Why? Because now you got to go out there and become a slave. All over again to some cracker telling you how to run your life. And if you don't, your wife going to be all down your neck. Talk about, nigga, you ain't, nigga, what do you do? You're going to get your ass up off this couch. And get the fuck what out. Why? Because this, this is my section eight. Food stamps, she's my everything. That who gave to the woman? Mental agency, right? And when you say government, the mental, now you're talking about this, and the, the way a woman what? Think. Our women. This way. They. All across the globe. You better get your ass over there and sit the fuck down. Don't tell me how to run my, my life. Is what many women are telling husbands right here to what? Day. And meanwhile, you got fussing and fighting and carrying on in the home. They're torn us apart from the, listen, from the, from the bottom to the top. Throw up from the flow up. And nobody has nothing to say. They just sit there and let this shit go on day in and day out. I was walking in New York one time. I seen a Puerto Rican boy whipping on his wife. A brother. What? Some say, man, don't do that. Try to stop him. The wife turned around and stabbed the brother in the back for trying to save her. Whoa. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. Whoa. I said, Lord, have mercy. The, the woman now, who was getting whipped, turned around and stabbed the brother who was trying to help her and said, don't you put your hands on my husband. That's why I don't do domestic. You two niggas get to fighting? I'm moving out the way because I don't know what type of demons y'all got up in y'all that would turn on me unitedly just for saying something that makes sense. This shit got to stop, though. It's happening all over the globe. That's the brother. Sister 18, now they in love, right? They work hard to get them a little TV, a little, little uh, uh, computer. Make them get a little apartment, fix it up real nice. And in less than 90 days, they fight like cats and dogs. They tore the whole damn house up. Broke the computer. I mean, come on, that they worked hard for. And then the next thing you know, it's all said and done. They, the brother look at her, she look at him and say, baby, you realize we did all this shit over a bag of potato chips? This is what's going on on this globe. How do I know I've walked amongst you? Oh. I've lived every problem that any Nubian man and woman can possibly experience. I've been walking amongst you all now for quite some time, and niggas didn't even know I was here. Well, I already know your problems. But let me tell you something. I have lived each of you all's problems first-handedly. 
First time there ain't too many things that black folk can go through that this little yellow nigga ain't experienced first handedly. So no. My uncle said, Baba, it's the outside man. My uncle Bibi. He said, You are inside man. I said, What you mean? He said, Baba, who's the problems of our people from inside the organization? You we have listen, put through school so that you can know the problems of people from outside the organization. I said, what do you mean by this? He said, Bob can't teach a crackhead how not to be one. I said, why? He said, because he had never been one himself. Now do you understand why you went through that school, young man? I said, yeah, I understand plenty. I understand plenty. I understand totally now. And I see that education which was an edited dictation, meaning I didn't stay at my head. They gave me the strength to come up, out. And I come out good, too. I'm strong. Enough now where I can go back to all them crackheads and teach them how to stop, too. You can do it. Can't none of y'all. None of y'all. Y'all don't have the information to make that happen. That's how and why. Listen, I'm the missile here. So sure now. I got to clean up a mess that is humongous, created by y'all. I'm talking about, man, all over the globe. It, it saddens me when they say, watch, his name is Jesus. God have mercy, that shit hurt. But you can call me Jack. You can call me Jane. You can call me J. Jonah Johnson. You can call me anything. You can call me the devil himself. I don't care. So long as my people get what they need. My name was not Jesus. My name was Joshua. I don't even like the letter J. I don't because of what it's done to y'all. But if you need that name to float your boat, I'm with Jesus all day. I answer you to you too. When 2,000 years ago, I wouldn't even know who you were talking to. I wouldn't even turn around if you'd have called me by that. Why? Because they first called me, and I don't like Christ. Oh, Lord, I don't like that. They first called us, what? Christian and Christ in Antioch, which was a city of all white folks. Listen, Ak is short for Akhi, which means brother. If I say Antioch, I'm talking about a city, but they didn't want no brothers in there, and they called me the king of the Jews. Labeled me Christ. Man, they was making a mockery of us. As we, listen, stood there, all of us, 13 in number, making a mockery of us. And let me tell you something. That that title of Christ has followed me, and I don't like it. I don't like it, don't like it, like it. I said to Peter, who do you say I am? In this life, check this out. Peter is Charles Charles Long. The brother who gave me the place down in San Antonio, that's Peter, on this rock, I built my church, and I hit that nigga in his chest. That's what I told him. I said, man, one, listen, rock will I leave untold, unt unturned, and you go tell no man that I'm the Christ. And then it says I turned, and I did. I turned all my disciples. We're still trying to disciple what I said 2,000 years ago. That's why I don't want no disciples here today. I just, people who are going to be around me going to be my discipline. People who I can depend upon what they say. Say what they mean and mean what they say and ain't playing with it evil. Just like I ain't playing with me getting Bob out. I'm serious about it. And if you ain't serious, get go over there because you ain't going to be nothing but in my way. And what I'm saying is, yeah, I turn around, and he said, you are the living Christ. I punched that nigga in his chest. I said, don't you ever say that to me ever again. And listen, meanwhile, so what you think I think about the word Christian? It means Christ-like, right? Well, nigga, no, you ain't Christian, because I'm not no Christ. Christianity is a cop-out. It's the anti-Christ religion. It's what got everybody thinking that if I said I could do anything I want, Oh, I can commit any type of crime. Galactic, it don't matter. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be all right because if I believe in this crap, then listen, this fella died on the cross for my sins. On that, I'm saved. Yeah, right. 
First off, I didn't dial nobody's court. That was Judas. And Judas wasn't a betrayer. He was a good friend of mine who sacrificed his life for me to be alive. And he didn't hang on the cross near no near no thief. The only reason is they said he was a thief was because all his hoes was robbing their tricks. And he was a pimp, you didn't know? What? His name was Sananda Fu. He worked for the Roman government legally, trolling the prostitution in the town square. Uh, right up until he had them women robbing people. That's why they called him a thief. And those two niggas hung up there together. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I was in the garden raking leaves, scared. Scared to death because I knew if them motherfuckers found out that wasn't me, they were coming at my ass all over again. And it wasn't until they say, he rose from the grave. Yeah, right. So I, I knew I could leave. And as soon as they said that, I'm like, whoa. I can finally get out of here. I took the rake and threw it on the ground, took the hood off, and started walking all the way to the high house called the upper room. Hands cut out. Because when the police tried to kill people, what I do? Just stand there and let them know. I grabbed them two swords and said, no. But I love that boy. And then one of them fools stabbed me in my side. I said, you bitch. I'm bleeding like a fuck now, right? Well, I stayed there, me and my bloody ass, while everybody else left. Yeah, raking leaves, high <laughs> like a motherfucker. Yeah, I did. And let me tell you something, I walked straight through town on the cobblestone road. Man, that shit fucked my feet up so bad that when I come up in the house, that's all these niggas were looking at, my feet, my hands, my side. They thought I was a ghost. I'm saying, nigga, fuck that, man. There's food here. I'm hungry. Well, what ghost you don't need to eat? And I'm not talking out of nobody's book or fairy tale. I'm talking out of memory, man. I was that, that's my life. We talking about just like my life right here and what now. And so, one thing I do know is that Pop was a real smart man. Let me tell you something. He was given the order to tell the whole truth and number the truth. So help him. <laughs> and, uh, but they didn't tell. They told him, but you can't reveal the secret. You got to tell everything, but you can't tell everything. So the question didn't become, well, how do I do that? Well, he did it excellently in a book called The Holy Tablet. He didn't reveal the secret. You open it up, it talks about the circling square coming together. It says it vibrated and it exploded, creating H1. And now one of y'all ever took the time to say, wait a minute. How can two geometrical symbols do all that? Well, that wasn't his job to tell y'all. It was mine. But how many of y'all have failed to read the circling square as of yet? If you have, you better read it, damn it, because all your information, everything you need to know, sits on that foundation because that takes you all the way back to simple darkness. And then you'll start to figure out what, you know, what's on planet Earth. Inside this physical vessel called bodies that walk around. Is it a being who supports the square? Or is it a being who supports the circle? Is it a light being who carries no color at all? Or is it a light being who, listen, vibrates and creates every color of the rainbow? You can tell they were confused. How do you know? Because they, here today, spell color two different ways. One is C-O-L-O-R and the other C-O-L-U-R. And what were they saying? I'm not colored, damn it. <laughs> It's ugly. Right. So what do they want to do? Separate. Segregate. Right? And we're moving over here. They were too stupid to know that over there was still over here. You can't go. Where are you going? Where are you going to go? I'm going over there. And you're still right here, stupid, dummy, nut. Why? Because all things must come to end. Well, how smart were you if you weren't smart enough to disinclude yourself? You didn't say all things but me, uh, but us. Now, your own, listen, your own doing is going to be your own undoing, right out your own mouth. Do the white light beings who don't vibrate past the sixth density? Why? Because seven density produces indigo blue. Watch. And what does it say? The day the trumpet shall be blown, the blue eyed guilty shall be gathered together. How were they considered guilty if indeed judgment day has not to, yet occurred? I'll tell you how. Because we got the evidence to prove that they tampered with the book after it was illegal to do. How? Because we tampered with the book before it was illegal. We tore the pages out, but they didn't know that we would know. 
They we got the evidence. And on come, listen, judgment day, we gonna break it out. What? See, Anu? They're guilty. This is what they did. You're gonna say, Well, y'all did it too. Yeah, but we did it before the book. It was illegal to do. We didn't have no law governing the book at that time, now did we? They're gonna and Anu gonna say, God well what? Done. That's how they are considered guilty before judgment day. When what does it say? When the listen, when the trumpet shall be blown, well nigga, let me tell you something. Trumpet blown right what? Now in the White House. The name Donald what? Trump. You didn't know what now you do. And he called it the great and dreadful now. All the red lot everywhere, right? It's just lot everywhere. It's the great and dreadful day we were talking about. We got a plan. We plan don't know. And it ain't going to be something that we agree with. Y'all going to be a little niggas crazy. Let me tell y'all something. Either you believe me or you don't. The question is, do you believe Yes or no? If you believe in me, y'all better know, I'm going to get this job done. It's all set again. Got a little static in the line. Huh? Who's that? Brother Tank, I was letting you know your phone static. You couldn't hear the last couple minutes for the last 30 seconds. Okay, let's see. Last 30 seconds. Okay, listen, I'll stop talking now. Let's number number one, come forward. Come forward, the one that you branded now. Yes, Brother Tank. You got anything you want to say? Yes, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Um, uh, go ahead. What, what you say, Brandon? You talk. Say what's on your mind. I just want to let you know this phone is staticky. Okay, so you can't hear me very, very well on this club. So better. You can't hear me very well. Boy, it's better. It's better right there. Okay. Now, number number two, step forward. That's all you want to say, member number one? That's Brandon, yes. member number one. Oh. So Brandon going to talk first. Next brother, member number two, what's your name? Come forth and let the whole family what? No. Shout out here, got this Roger. Love y'all. Roger, you number two. Now it's your turn to talk. Talk. Save us on your mind. Let the whole family know. Let me know also. If you got any questions, now the time to ask. No, I'm really, I just like listening. I'm just really learning, you know, and uh, and just trying to follow out the orders and make it, make make the world save the world. That's what's on my mind. Well, what I'm saying to you, Roger, listen to me. How long have you? Okay, first off. What do you know about this organization's beginnings? Meaning, do you know anything about the Anshola community? Do you know what my father yeah. did in 1970? Because what I need to know is yeah. how many of y'all know where we come from? Because if you don't know where we come from, how are you going to know where we going? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I came in... I say it was around ninety-four. Mm-hmm. Now that's the yeah. CIE doing, y'all. That's how each one of y'all need to do. I need to know. Listen, when you came in, how you got in touch with this information? I need to know what brought you to us right here now today. Why? <laughs> because I know that can nobody know where they're going until they know where they've been. You feel me? So I got to go back and reteach that brother. Now you say you came in from 1994? Yes. Yeah, and, uh, 1994 and is where your beginning started? Yes. And, uh, Come on, man. This is not that hard. I need you to answer the question. Oh, yes. Okay, now, who owns the law community? Because I need to know. See, because what you don't know, I'm going to teach you. Meaning, I'm going to fill yeah. in the blanks what was taking place before you came around. You follow me? 
so that your foundation will be whole. You follow that? And it's important that everybody has a whole foundation, right? Because other than that, you living off of secondhand information where another motherfucker can come along and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because listen, new information is new to a newcomer. You see? Now, it's real. You can give a new any information, old information, is going to be new to them. Baba say, look for the new information, where that's coming from, meaning that's how you'll know you're in the right place. Now, how can you do that if, indeed, everything is new to you? Why? Because you're a newcomer. Oh, listen, a, a person can give you old information, and you don't know if that's new or not. You see? But an old head who've been with us way back in Ansel Law Community Days, he'll be saying, he'll say, wait a minute, bro. Yo, don't forget, I was at that class. We got the same teacher. Ain't nothing new about that. Baba brought that in such and such a year after the rebuttal book. He'll give you a whole rundown. When the 360 question book came out, to ask all of that Sunni Muslim, I mean, it would go all the way where he needed to go. Why? Because that nigga was there. You follow me? Now, listen, they ain't going to be able to fuck with me. You want to know why? Because they'll know that, indeed, the circle is square is the new information. Listen, that Baba, check this out. First, this out. First off, the way you know it's new is because Baba only started you with the circle and the square. He only made mention of it in a brief portion of the Holy Tablets. When you first opened it up, it said the Holy Tablets came, the, 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 the uh, circle and square came together and vibrated and then boom, blew up creating H1. The circle and square, that mm-hmm. I, these books that I'm putting out, tells you exactly what went on. You see? And it doesn't take away from what Bob is teaching. You see? That's how you know for sure that I am who I am. You see? Ain't nobody else doing that. Can't nobody else do it because they don't have what, listen, they can't, how their arms going to box with God? Can't juggle with this, man. You see? I'm not worried about them and they bullshit. I'm worried about y'all. I'm worried about mine. Coming forward and getting it, because when I send you out into the world, I'm going I'm to send you out with your gun, with all the bullets you need. Them niggas come open their mouth, you're going to eat them what? Alive. You see, because you're sitting with the real Messiah. They ain't. You see? And I'm going to prepare you and send you out into the world. The Save the Children World Movement is the first step. Are people going to go out into the world? Listen, not only will you be getting the revenue that this organization needs to raise the nation, but you'll be going out there teaching, too. That's the part I didn't tell you. You see? I expect, listen, our people to put them T-shirts on, Save the Children World Movement T-shirts, to get you your laminated ID, and I expect you to go out into the world. Listen, ask for the donations. Action you shall what? Receive. And what? And on that note, when you get a chance to say, look here, bro, let me ask you a question. What you know about this man? You show him a picture of me. You know who this man is? You have any idea? And then you start to let him know the Messiah is what? Here. And you have, you can judge it for yourself, ma'am. All you got to do is come to here and, you know, you'll get to meet him your what? Self. And let him heal you. I'm going to be doing this healing thing, too, now. I'm going to be showing y'all how to do it, too. Yeah. I, for a long time, I wouldn't do it because every time I do it, I tell him to get up and don't do what you did to put yourself in this position. Then we go and just do it right straight way. I know as soon as I tell any black folk, don't do that, that's many in my head at time, that's exactly what the hell they're doing. So why am I going to fuck them up even worse is what I was saying. That's why I wasn't doing no healing thing. But I'm about to. I'm about to take every ailment that bothers you to your body. And I'm going to show you all how to do it too. Because everything I can do, you can do. You just don't know how. But I'm going to teach you. Now. Why? Because you ain't going to be able to be me if I'm not there. How you going to be Atum Ray, nigga, if you don't know what Atum Ray know how to do? That's why I kept telling you, I say, my name's Atum Ray. What's yours? That was just the start. Just like on the Sermon on the Mount. 
I feel that all of them for one day. Now I'm going to feed them for a lifetime because each one of them come up, I'm going to teach them how to multiply it this time. I'm going to show you how to take the bread and the fish in your hand and multiply it. Just like I'm going to show you how to lay hands on a person and heal them. Take every poison out that's in them. But let me tell you something. You got to be careful because a lot of that poison she will seep up into you, but you got to know how to cast it out, you see. No, I ain't lying. The nigga think I'm lying? Any one of you niggas, check this out. Y'all come see me. I will put hands on you, nigga, and get all that shit the fuck out your ass. Whatever the fuck it is that's fucking with you, let me tell you something. You're going to see it come out, too. Poison. Like, for real. It's going to come right out your mouth. Filthy. Sick shit. Nasty. Yeah. That's in you that you don't know nothing about. And how I'm going to do it? By touching on your spinal column. I know what to do. I know what to do. The spinal column has three tiers. It's like an organ that you see played in church. It has three, you know, tiers of, 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 of keys. You have to know how to touch them keys. And you have to know. You'll know because when you get to the right one, the, the, the person you're working with is going to say, oh, and say, hold anchor that one down. Hold them there now. Hold him now. You move just your other finger. You got your thumb on that one. And you move around, move around, move around. Then you touch one. Oh, you got another one now. Hey, hey, ha, ha. I just watched the name one. Move around, move around. Then you touch the third one. Yeah, nigga. Now. Now. Didn't know that shit was up in you, did you? Look at that shit. That ain't your regular throw up, neither, is it, man? Look at that shit. It got black shit in it. Where'd that come from? Huh. That y'all didn't know it was even in your sister. Huh. What? What, what, what young one? What, what you want to know? Hey, where that baby? Where that baby at? <laughs> come on, little girl. Hey, what's your name is? Hey, look at that little baby. Little huh. baby. Ain't had no babies in a while. Huh? Yeah. That little baby, not my baby. Lord have mercy. Somebody, you know, somebody did something right. Finally brought a child. Hey, Rahu Bat. That's something we, we used to say. We say Shadadah yes, now. Want to know what Shadadah means? It means peace and love. Peace and love. Shadadah. Okay. What's up, baby? Who this? What's going on, my brother? This is this is uh, Nasut Asaru Amun Hatap. What's going on? Who this? What's your name? I am Asaru. Uh-huh. Asaru. I can't hear I'm What's Asaru. your name? And Saru? Okay, Asaru. nice to meet yeah. you, bro. Yeah, nice to uh, meet you. You got that brother. baby? That's, that, you brought the baby? I'm asking yeah, you a question. That child I'm here in the background, is it coming from your background? But, Lord, we yes. got a good day, y'all. Lord, have yes, mercy. Indeed. That's the sign I was looking for. You hear yes, what indeed. I say? Welcome home, baby. Come on. Thank you. We don't Thank say you. Robert Thank no you. more. Grow. Okay. Grow. Listen, you say Shadada. Listen, Shadada. Why? Shadada uh, means peace and what? Love. You follow that? No, that's what we yes, say I now. Do. I'll explain it later. But welcome on. Listen, okay. that baby. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. That's the sign right, I was brother. looking for. Indeed. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. Listen, oh, we're going to give you a you. number now. Listen. When we okay. come on, when you listen, 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 because you got to get. How we do this, man? Because if you don't, you 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 it, it, it'll take the divine order that we're struggling to to put in place and to mess it up. Now, what I mean by that, when you attend our conference calls, listen. Uh-huh. Everybody has a number. Each number, listen, it tells you when you have the opportunity to speak or ask a question. Are you understanding me? I understand. Okay. Now your name is Ansonu. Now, Hank, write that down and give him the next number. What number was available? Hank, I expect you to have a list of this. You better be writing your and your fingers off. She sat. You better be doing the same thing. Cause when this is over, listen, I'm gonna be asking y'all who was there, what the numbers is, and you better tell me. I got full memory, but I ain't gonna tell you that I know. You gonna write it all down. Okay. She sat. Are you there? Come on, bro. You write everything down, honey. You hear me? Everything. Yes. yes. Don't you miss nothing. Brandon, are you in debt? 
Look at this slow ass nigga. Burn it. <laughs> what is going on? Why did it take you so why it take you so long to respond, huh? Your response time is stop me, Brandon. Do it better. Mm-hmm. Look at I don't take that long to press the damn button. Now I know that. <laughs> I expect your response time to be pressed, nigga. On point, nigga. When I call for you, nigga, you there. Now, I'm not playing the radio. I'm serious as fuck. Now, Brandon, be sure you writing everything down. This brother here, his name is Ansaru. Yes. He's the sign I was looking for. Understand me. The sign. First baby that I heard in a long what? Time. Now, look at him. Listen to me. Listen to me. Write his name down. Give him a number. Brandon, mute your phones out. Brandon, write that brother's name down. Give him the number. What number was the last one before, before he came? It was number two. Give him the number, uh, Brandon. I mean to do it now, fast. It's going to be number 10. It's going to be number 10. Number ten. Number ten. Number when you okay. come on, you go. Yes, when you come to our phone, when you come to our phone, you'll be the tenth one to speak. You feel me? Okay. And when I, I ask you. everybody to count off, so that I know who's present and who's not, everybody say one. So and the one, number one gonna say number one. Number two gonna say number two, and I'll be able to know who's here and who's not. You see? Okay. You follow? I follow. I follow. Now, I want I want everybody to bear witness to something. Listen to this. Watch. Now, you see that number one in front of number ten? I told y'all, listen, that the number zero is not a number, and the letter O is not a letter. Ain't that what I said? I said it's a symbol. Show something. Like, okay, the symbol is the cipher, which represents a secret is in place. Well, we have come yeah. full cycle right now, and we're coming to get another cycle. Well, how do we know? Because we got the 10th member. Right now, you hear that baby, y'all? On the first one, look here, that cycle shows something. We bring the babies in. We bring them in now. See? Y'all going to understand me clearly. Y'all going to see how this thing works. And let me tell you something. It's at its finest. This team purity at its highest level. Let me tell you something. All you have to do is just sit, listen, and learn. You know, it's one thing to think the thing. It's another thing to speak it. Never stand up in the forum and say, I know that. But you got beings listening to me, both on the planet and off the planet, who are in higher seats of authority than you are, who will cut your water off just for even the slight view of being or, you know, thought to be arrogant. You know, if they look at you and see just a little arrogance in you, they'd be like, oh, you don't need to know no more. And let me tell you something, they will cut your water off. And a little bit you do know, you won't never even be able to talk no more. They'll tie your tongue. You'll try to teach and won't nothing come out right. Why? Because you stood up that night and said, I know that. Even if you're familiar with something, keep your mouth what? Closed. You can say it in your mind now. But it's one thing to think of thing, another thing to speak it. And always know the worst thing to do is stand up and say, I know that. Well, there's two different types of questioners. You got one questioner that ain't trying to find shit. They're trying to punch holes in whatever the fuck it is you bring. You follow me? You got another questioner who honestly wants to know. And they're real easy to distinguish between the two. The one who really wants to know will come to you and say, Master, Listen, can you answer this question, please? Because this has been bothering me, and I really would like to know. Now, I don't have no problem answering the person who approaches me. Listen, with respect. But another question is saying, you so smart, answer that. Answer this. That nigga ain't trying to find out nothing. He think he already know. And all I got to do to let him know I'm God, listen, to say, no, I ain't answering shit. Because who's in control now, and who becomes the loser? Is it me or is it them? It's dumb. Want to know why? How you know? Because, yo, they'll never know whether I had to answer or not now. Why? Because the simple way they approach me from the start. That lets them know I'm in control. Want to know how? Because all I got to do is open my mouth and say, no, I ain't answering the question at all. Now, who's in control, Negro? Me or you? You see, that's how we got to be careful because you got people come up in the forum. They ain't coming here. Listen. 
to, to, to learn anything or to be a part of this. They come in here right, to try to be disruptive and try to show what they know and try to prove me not being the Messiah. Well, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn about the monkeys. So they're going to be judgmental monkeys and stupid asses for all the days of the rest of this life. You can tell them or tell them not. And they will pretend to be with you, pretend to be your friends, and then when they're around and not with you, they get devil friends, they say we was just making a mockery. And you are playing me, you better play play lotto. You a scratch off, do something, you be better off. Because you ain't not one move they can make. I, I don't, man, please, I'll see it before we get there. Now, but the pure heart, the ones who really want to know, the ones who really want to do it the right way, you're more than welcome. Come set with me. Come learn me. Let's break bread together. You see? And when you get to know me, you'll see. Check this out. What's really going on? But if you don't get to know me, you got a whole lot of people out there saying a lot of things about me. Oh, uh, he's a con artist. He's a this and that. I know that nigga. He ain't nobody. That's little bias. The woman with the ponytail from Lancelot. Man, he ain't nobody. He used to get high. Me and him used to get high together. Really, man, you got a whole lot of things that will be said to you in reference to who it is I am. And they'll say it about you, too, the minute you attach yourself to me, because you will be persecuted for righteous name's sake. Don't think you won't. They would say all types of ill-mannered things. And, and how, man, how are you going to say that about me? You don't even know me. You ain't never sat and broke bread with me, nothing. If you did, nigga, you probably love me the same way I love you, even though I don't know your ass. And I don't need no permission to love you. I love you no matter what you do, in spite of the fact you being an ignorant, stupid, mo- man, please. That, but that's cool, though. You can be that. But I'll wipe that out after a while. After a while. Yo, we know about the pregnant woman in the farm. We know it all takes place over the course of time, right? And I ain't rushing to heal you because you, it took you a while to get fucked up like that, I see. You see? Yeah, I'm mean, talking to all those who want to come up in here with that poison and talk crazy and act a damn fool. Go, go right ahead, dude. I got haters by the dozen. I got motherfuckers saying I done had an operation in my throat to sound like Baba. If that shit don't, man, that's just, just about as dumb. Oh, he, only, he had an operation on his throat. Lord have mercy. How stupid can you be? You know what I mean? Why? Because my voice sound like Bob's and yours don't? You got to come up with something, something to say now, huh, man? I understand. I'm not talking to any of you. I'm talking in general terms. I don't talk in private ones, meaning I talk in terms of things that are all over the globe, everywhere. Because in the army, who holds the high rank is the general or the private. So you never hear me talking about one person per se talk about a type of mentality that you can find, you know, all over here today, you know. Why? Because they don't like the fact. <laughs> yeah, I'm, they're mad because they ain't me. They want to be the side. They want not knowing how to clean nothing up work a damn. Nigga, you sweep the fuck out of folk, but you won't wash the dishes, though. And check this out. And you won't take the garbage out. You do just enough to say you did something. Well, that's like doing nothing you didn't know. Now, that's got to stop because, no, we got a job to do, and we have to clean up the filth of the fucking world. <laughs> now, and if these you niggas are doing it, check this out. What did, what did, it would have been done by now. Don't you think so? If you knew about <laughs> nigga, please. We would have never needed a messiah, a messiah who has who's an anointed being who has the ability to make some dirty and wipe it clean. If y'all knew how to clean this mess up, y'all have done it by now because y'all smell the stench. You live through it every day, don't you? You just turn your head the other way and make like it ain't there and just keep on living, right? Because they just swept it under the rug so nice that in certain places you smell it, but you can't see it. <laughs> You smell that shit. You smell that shit, man. Like, I'm going to stick up my nose and try to smell it, right? That's stupid. If you telling me it stink, why am I going to try to smell that? No. I, I take your word for it. You see? A lot of people do some weird things. I'm going to say, man, ooh, that stink. You smell that? And I'm looking at this fool. Something, something, 
stop and put my nose. Some people are like, yeah, do stink. Like, oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, the stink of the devil's there. I don't have to smell the devil to know he's there. I already know that nigga somewhere fucking around, laying in a state of weight, watching and looking at me. What it is I'm doing? Because he ain't scared of y'all. But he's scared to death of me. That motherfucker follow me everywhere I go, everywhere, looking at me and what I do, who I'm talking to, who's listening, who ain't. Huh? You think he don't? Because the minute you get to listening real good and you learn something, you say, man, I'm with the brother. I'm with the little brother. Oh, you're going to be persecuted too. You think you ain't? And all of a sudden, you're going to start losing shit that you know damn well you set right there. You're going to go back, and whatever the fuck it is it was, you know that you really need. You're going to all of a sudden, where the fuck is I know I put my shit. And that demon going to be trying to drive you straight fucking crazy. We're not fighting an enemy. The enemy is your inner you. We're fighting an adversary, which is a being and or a group of beings who are constantly creating adverse situations for you. And listen, and this demon, meaning Lou and his posse, Luciferians who are right here in the state of California, let me tell you something, Marin County, and listen, at Lucas Studios, who work in that special effects department, call themselves masters of illusion. Don't think I don't know where them niggas is at. I know exactly where Lucifer's at. Because the same way he keep his finger on me, you think I don't keep my finger on him? Watch his ass. And he don't like it. He's an ex-member, listen, of the FBI. He works for the NSA. He's a profound alchemist. And let me tell you something. If you see him, bounce, because y'all don't know what to, do, what to do. Let me tell you, you don't know what to do. If you did, nigga, you did it a long time ago. And the nigga look a lot like me. He's taller than me, though. But he speaks Castilian Spanish. He wears dark glasses every day, and he wears Levi jeans. Levi's, those are his favorite jeans, right? Straight up. And this nigga, yeah, they got money, y'all. Got money for real. Yeah. And let me tell y'all something. I'm fighting these motherfuckers with cardboard boxes, bu- bubblegum and band-aids, but I'm rocking their fucking world. Yeah, that's right. And I'm an alchemist. Nobody knew why the bunny rabbit had Easter. Why the eggs had to be colored until I told you. It took an alchemist to be able to see that shit. I'll explain it again in case you missed it. Ready? Watch. In alchemy, there are three basic rules. One, that which is not must be presented first in order for that which is to exist and be legitimized. That one there I'll have to explain to a lot of y'all, I'm sure. Talk it out another time. The second rule is anything that stands in representation of a thing is indeed a thing. The third rule is the smallest things carry the most power. Well, why a bunny rabbit at Easter? And why was the holiday called Easter in the first place? Because the E and the A in the ancient language is interchangeable. When you say Easter, you say Ashtar, same thing. Easter, Ashtar, Easter, Ashtar, same thing. And who are we talking about? Ashtar Command, who has allied themselves with Lucifer and his team. You follow me? Now watch. And what, what, what is this war being fought over? Motherfuckers will say good and evil. Ant wrong. It's being fought over fertility. Fertility. Our fertility is what they want. Okay? Now, it used to be a time you go to the bus stop, you see a dark sister there. She got one baby in the stroller, one in the arms. She got the other baby who's about 12 years old holding a baby, too. Man, you used to touch a Nubian sister that was dark skin. She'd give you 50 babies without trying hard. That ain't happening no more. Is it? You go to the, to the bus stop now, you don't see the dark skinned sisters with the babies. You see our Latino sisters. Being, listen, which is a light skinned version, listen, of Nubian, right? A lighter skinned, not the real dark skinned one no more. And let me tell you, our Latino sisters, if we keep missing the mark, they not going to have no babies either. Why do I say this? Because the white girls, watch now, when they were suffering no ass at all, right, they wasn't having no babies. That's when American Bandstand was out. We used to watch American Bandstand and laugh our asses over the motherfuckers that should not seem to get their motherfucking body to move to the beat. Right? Right. We get on Soul Train. Well, guess what? The Soul Train is not derailed in this house, meaning niggas are still have rhythm. You better learn how to get up and dance again. People ain't dancing no more. 
People ain't listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire. People listening to some bullshit fucking them up. Might as well be. Y'all listening to all the wrong things. I'm saying your music has gone fucking stupid. Niggas talk about everything that ain't right. Man, I don't want to hear a thousand and one ways to rob my next door neighbor. Fuck that. And I sure don't want to hear a thousand and one ways to punch you in the mouth. And I don't want to hear about your Rolex when I ain't got one. Y'all ain't figured that out, but you go up in the studio, you know, you and your good rapper. That a rapper. You was a mummy now. Mentally dead, wrapped up in a whole bunch of shit with a mic in your hand, talking about absolutely fucking what? Nothing. That's what the fuck's going on in the industry today. Yeah. The Mozzies and the, the this one and the that one. Nigga, what, man, all you talking about is some crazy-ass shit about the, 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 the pounds of dope you selling, the money, and it was the niggas that's fucking you over and the broad that don't want to. Man, please, you know, man, and you got some women out there butt-naked, and you don't give a what. Damn. Too stupid to know what you're doing to the whole nation. That's why I call you mummies. The rappers, right? The wrapped up in this and wrapped up in that. The, the curse of the mummy. Mentally what? Dead. I ain't saying nothing to nobody to fix this film and to fix this shit right. The last thing we need is a nigga that's going to sit up with a mic and run his mouth again about absolutely fucking nothing. Now, I mean, look, let's look at it. For the last 10 years, every rapper that has come out, have they said anything? I mean, some of them, one or two, has said something conscious. You see? And one or two ain't enough when you got 50 other motherfuckers talking about some shit. They don't count. They ain't mean as shit. I mean, they don't even give a fuck whether we live or die as a race of people. Well, why? Because, yo, they're under some type of spell. And I'm telling you, this war is being fought over fertility. Now watch. Easter Ashtar, Easter Ashtar, the E and the A is interchangeable. The bunny rabbit stood in representation of what? Fertility. But let me tell you, bunny rabbits is fertile as a motherfucker, now ain't there? And why? Why did the eggs have the eggs have to be colored? I'll tell you why. Because that which is not must be presented first, meaning they who are white put them colored eggs out there on Easter Sunday and they knew that if they should get colored people, you, to go out and find one, every time you found one, then a portion of your fertility would move from our Ethernet over in theirs. That's how and why baby got back right here today, who used to be no ass at all. You know the, the sister. I'm talking about the white broad. Right? You look, man, they used to have flat, but no ass at all. Now, baby got back. Why? Who gave it to her? All of y'all, on Easter Sunday, every time you found an egg, there was colored. You know what well, now you do. So we got to get some of that fertility back. You want to know how we do it? We go out, we take a bunch of white eggs and a bunch of white people out there and tell them to take an Easter egg hunt. Find, go find them eggs, motherfucker. Now, we got your ass back. Aha. Now, and you'll see the white girl's butt start to shrink. And the sister's butt start to come what? Back. Huh? If you don't believe me, check it out. If you want to bring the walls of Jericho to come tumbling down, we can do that too. I Meaning I can go right to any penitentiary, tell you motherfuckers exactly what to chant and how, tell you what to do, and watch that penitentiary walls come tumbling down, damn it. Now, who do you know? But I'm not him, no, right? Huh. Yeah? Well, let's check it out. Don't believe me? I'll show you. I'll prove it. All you got to do is get about 500 cars, right? Now, why? 500 cars that were all these motherfuckers in one spot at one time, right? Now, what? We go right out there to what? The San Quentin, Pelican Bay, you know, uh, 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 what's it? Uh, Pleasant Valley, you know, these are all penitentiaries in California. Or we can go to uh, Sing Sing, Dynamore, you know, Rankin's Island, you know, over there if you want to. Watch now. And you niggas take the home sound, put it on your CD player, and turn it down real low. <laughs> real low. And we ride around that motherfucker in a circle. Ride around in a circle and bounce. Three days later, I guarantee you, their walls will start to crumble. Not all at once. We'll have to do it once or twice. But guarantee you, that place's walls will come to the ground. And they are only as, as strong as their built structures. Now, only an alchemist can tell you that. Now, let me tell you something. If anybody thinks 
that I can fabricate something that like like that, you better think again. Just like the motherfuckers from Princeton, Harvard, and Yale got on the internet talking about I Action Ray am a con artist. I looked at the monitor. I came to the studio right there, Titanium Records. Listen, in Augusta, Georgia, when I was over there with Brother Jay and them niggas, this is me. I looked. I said, this motherfucker, what? They said, yeah, this motherfucker's a professor from Harvard. He said that you are a con artist. I said, duh, there's other motherfuckers one from Yale. I had the motherfuckers from Princeton, Harvard, and Yale saying that I was a con artist. Let me tell you what I did. Sat in front of the monitor. I said, oh, yeah, let me, give me, give me the keyboard. Give me the keyboard. I took the keyboard. I started to type. I said, let me get this straight. Are you saying that I, Action Ray, am a con artist? They came back. They said, yes. I said, Oh, in the debate, you have pros and cons, correct? They said yes. I said the pros stand for the issue, the cons stand against it, correct? They said yes. So again, let me get this straight. Are you saying that I and my artistry stands against everything nature so dictates? Motherfucker sat there quiet, didn't know what the fuck to say now. I said, because I want you to know as intricately as this information is put together, I could be doing a lot of things with my time than dreaming up some intricately put together lies to tell my people. But again, if indeed it is a lie, according to you, I would have been the one to tell it, right? They said, yes. I said, well, let me see any of you produce the likeness thereof. And ain't nobody stood up to date. I said that shit back in 2007. We should tell the motherfuckers I'm telling the truth. But can't nobody lie like that. Too well put together, fool. Cross references itself. Now, any questions? Does anybody have any question? Now's the time to ask. Wonder why? Because if anybody in this forum thinks or doubts me, then listen. Tell you just like this. Baba gave you right knowledge. Why? Because he did he took you out of belief. And then at the right before his time with us, listen, his era he put you back in belief. Right? Now why? Because he knew you always have to believe in something. Meaning be- believe in me. Because if you don't believe in me, then you you in the wrong house. You see, you're going to have to accept something yes, that yes. you're not 100% sure is true or not and see if indeed I know what I'm talking about. Now, if anybody thinks anybody can lie like this, some people ain't fools, they damn fools. Can nobody lie this, like that? It's too well put to what? Yeah, and I got a plan. And if a motherfucker can present a plan better than the one I'm presenting, I'll be the first to shut the fuck up and follow them. So like I told you, we got to bring the porno industry to its knees. Ain't going to be no more X-rated movies when I finish with them crackers. You feel me? West Coast production. Motherfuckers, get ready, because I'm coming to your house. Meaning I'm going to go up in there there with some bad boys. Yeah, we all going to get busy up in your house. And right when you think you got it all figured out, yeah, I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I'm going to turn straight evidence on your ass. What? Bring you right into their courtroom and let them lock your asses what? Up. Yeah, call me whatever the fuck you what, want. It's the T with the two watches. Right? I know them, them, them brothers in the movies. I know them niggas personally. Motherfuckers ain't nobody, but they getting paid, though. We talking about a billion-dollar industry over at West Coast Productions. Okay? Yeah, right. In the city of the lost angel. Yeah, right. I'm in that motherfucker right what now talking to you. And I swear that that stupid little motherfucker, when he ran out the room, we'd be well on our way to, to not having to worry about any baby being born having to be affected by that bullshit to the point that they got them same grooves in their brain. Because all of you got the grooves in your brain. Don't put, don't think you don't. If you've seen a movie, every time you have sex, you won't even get aroused if you don't motherfuckers bring back those images to into play. Because those grooves are there, and guess what? They ain't going nowhere. You might as well admit it. If you've seen one movie, you've been infected. Now, and, you, and here's where we really fucked up. You niggas would go to bed and leave the DVD in the DVD player and the children wake up and get an eye full of something that they wasn't supposed to. Then you wonder why your, your son is humping your daughter. You got the nerve to go in there and whip on him. Should be whipping on your damn self. Now, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
And don't get mad. You know why? Because y'all created this condition. Not me. But. And now I got to come here and clean up the filth you niggas made. You think I want to go in there? No, I don't. But I will, though. As a sacrificial lamb, to see to it that them babies that are being born don't get touched by that shit. Now, and y'all might not like it. You say, the lamb of the most high in the X-rated movie. Yeah, that's right, nigga. You want to know why? Because I'm going to bring that shit down. I'll make that sacrifice. Something that you niggas going to look at me like I'm crazy for. But the end results will put me on the front of the New York Times with the people who participated in the project. Saying concerned parents and adults said they had enough, and then we're gonna be sat, sitting there on the front of the New York Times in a money suit looking serious as a fuck, like, yo, fuck with us and come find out. You feel me? Now, ain't nobody, nobody in this damn time willing to go out on a limb like that. Nobody. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. Y'all probably looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh. What I do know is this. Somebody got to do something about this shit. And I'm a sucker for a result. I'm tired of fucking running my fucking mouth, doing absolutely fucking nothing. Niggas sat around all this time. How come Bob ain't out? I'll tell you why, because you niggas don't know how to get him. You don't. That's why I'm on my way to the East Coast now, so we can get Bob the fuck out. I'm not going to let my father die in there. You follow that? And I got a plan, three parts, that will work. Yeah, that's right, but it's going to need support to be able to happen. And what do you think? While I'm working to get Bob out, the devil going to pack up shop and go home? <laughs> Nigga, you better prepare yourself. That's why I'm going to hurt him before he get a chance to get there. All I got to do is break him at his knees with the porno industry, and I won't have no fucking problem. He won't have enough money to fuck with me. See? Then I can get Bob <laughs> out. I got to create a diversion, man, something to get that motherfucker away from looking at us while we doing what we do. If I don't, we ain't going to make this. This ain't going to happen. You might go kiss Baba goodbye, and he'll die in there. And it'll be whose fault? Ours. Now, now I don't care. I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do if I got to do it by my what? No. That's how much I love my father. You feel me? Now, all of y'all who feel the same way I do, come stand over there with me. All of you motherfuckers who don't feel the way I do, stand over there and run your mouth and he's still doing nothing. You can go and get the little fucking bullshit lawyers. You've been giving the lawyers your money time. You've been giving the lawyers the, 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 the law officers of do we treat them and how. And you wonder why Bob still ain't home. Who the fuck was Adrian Patrick? I don't know that motherfucker. I ain't never even heard of him. You? No. <laughs> all that money. Listen, all that motherfucking money gone, right? Why? Because y'all gave the money to the law offices of do we cheat them and how. That's why Bob ain't home yet. See? 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 Now, right. That's our new organization. It's called CCC. You follow me? The Caring yes. Cooperative Community Network. I don't give a damn. Look here, because we got to get, we can say it whichever way we want, with whatever type of C words you want. They have ABC, CBS, NBC, right? Well, we're going to introduce to the world a thing called CCC. CCC. And we ain't playing no what, more. People are programmed by the things they see in here, right? But we yeah. have a formula that goes A plus B equals C, and we are seeing you free. That's why I say, don't say okay. Say, oh, I see. Ain't that what I said? Oh, I see. All this shit figures in. Oh, I see. That's right. Why? Because I'm, listen, I'm know what to do now. What now? And I say, when we say, shukran the zillin, you say, afwan, but then you say, woo, and wipe the shit off. Woo, just barely made. I wanna do that. By the skin of the chicken. What? And everybody got to be doing these stupid little cliches because let me tell you, it's part of a bigger picture. It's the alchemy of the child, fool, that they can't stand against. Mm. They know I'm the child they're looking for, and they're scared to death of me. You see? Yeah, can't nobody do it. Man, please, nigga, please. 
When that time you jumped on the bed, is what I've been asking motherfuckers. You don't never lose the smile in you, never lose the child in you. Nigga, I jump on the bed every time she leave the room. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Nigga, you are nothing, nothing shit. <laughs> nothing shit. <laughs> leave me alone. She can't help but laugh. She be like, this nigga here is crazy. I'm like, no, I ain't shit. I know I'm old, shit, but I, I might not. I might be old, but I ain't cold. I'm still warm mm-hmm. on my inside. Yeah, I'll be in the she leave the room. I'm up there. The boot, the boot, the boot. I'll be flipping and doing that thing. Hey, man, please. She come in the room like, nigga, what are you doing? Nothing. Looking stupid as a fuck. Mm-hmm. That's the alchemy of the what? Cow. It's working, Child. nigga. It's working. I'm a teacher. How to do it? What too? You feel me? And then when you see the results, when you see the results, one thing I won't do is when you see the results, I won't look at you and say, "See, I told you." I told you. You understand? I want one of those. I want one of those. Yeah, yeah, get one. Get one. Get ice cream. Quick. Quick one of those. Ice cream man. Ice cream man. Huh? Huh? Anything, okay, anything. Get, 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 uh, get, uh, uh, I don't know, get anything. I'm going to get you on. Go ahead, get it, get it, get it quick. Huh? What say? Okay, shut it down. Ice cream man just came. I'm like, I want one of those. Shut it out, shut it out. Anybody want any questions, come on, ask me now, because I've got things i got to do. i got to get some ice cream. Yeah, I mean, I'll give me a towel, goes on. Ice cream man, ice cream mm-hmm. ice cream. I told man, I want one of those. Think I don't? Yeah. And I'm in the park. I'm looking at children running around. Beautiful children. You see? That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm man, and my eyes are filling up with water. I almost want to cry for real. I ain't going to do it. Strong. I want y'all to see me with no tears. But, yeah, Jesus wept. And he wept all the time. Nigga, when y'all wasn't around, I'm crying my ass off. Now, y'all got these questions, damn it. Chief, Chief. Chief, I just wanted to just a follow you I just wanted right. to tell you that I got exposed um to pop um at the during the end of the Ansar going into the uh right knowledge series. Like back in the nineties. In Philadelphia. Well, look, thank the most high. Let me say something to you. You think I'm you great. got all that information for nothing, Sal? No. You no, got sir. it for what? No, something. Sir. Meaning you have you have a time. job to do. You see? Yes, right, you know yes, how sir. niggas would say, I, but I got my own life to live. I'm like, wait a minute, I thought you sacrificed your life for most of that long time ago, didn't you? Time ago, when I made well, my job. Well, stop. This ain't the job. This ain't the job. Let me say something to all y'all. This is not the job that you can wake up tomorrow and say, I quit. It don't work like that. No, sir. You see, once you do, once you with us, you with us for the duration, motherfucker, till it gets what done. Else, you was a phony when you first got there. First started. Yeah. You see, I'm saying what happened yes, to all those people, right? All those people say they love my father. Where they at now, right? But I'm saying, how you gonna say you was there with us in the Ancelot community and you ain't here with us what now? Right that now. means when you first did this shit. You lied. You committed yourself to something, and you have yet to hold firm to. You see, that's why I got to get all those brothers to the Dan Ancelot community out here listening to me. And guess who going to get them to do it? You all are. We are. You got, we got to get the old heads we back. Are. We got to get the old heads back. We got to go into the streets with the Save the Children World Movement and start teaching what I'm teaching to let them know that this is the new doctrine. I'm not te- yeah. I'm teaching the same thing pop teaching, but meaning I'm not taking away from it, but I'm giving them stuff they ain't never heard what before. Hey, before, before. And which is what and all you got to do you is you, all you got to do is go on, listen. Listen, Baba told y'all how to find me. Oh, y'all, all you got to do is find a video that Baba did called How Do You Prove the Existence of Adam? Find time. it. And you will hear mm-hmm. in that video, he, he says it. You see? Well, sure. That's right. Simple as that. That's right. Okay, look where the new information is coming from. Yeah, that's right. You see? So I used to get scared, right? For certain things, you know, I don't want y'all to think. I don't want to think that I moved through this life with absolutely no fear because I do have fears. I don't want to, I don't want to die. I want to see my brains blowed out. 
But I know, because I know there's some demon out there who would love to see me bleeding dead as a fuck or spilt all over the concrete. So, yeah, man, I got I got concerns. I knew the job was dangerous when I took it. When I first opened my mouth, I knew when I stepped out front and said, yo, yeah, well, okay, fuck it. I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah, I'm him. I knew what I was doing. But here's what I'm telling y'all. I'm going to tell you straight way, too. If they hurt me in any way, it's going to get dark real quick. Dark real quick. Guaranteed. All of us back to the east of the ground. And let me tell you something. Lights out on the Blue Rock Project. Anything happen to me, I'm your last opportunity. Very last. You great covenant losers that you have been and will continue to be if you don't wake up and see that indeed what? They say among Freemasons, what will I do when I, what will you do when you find a child? The response is I will protect him with my very life. And let me tell y'all something. If y'all ain't willing to protect this, because for real, you think they ain't coming after me? They coming? I'm assuming. They're going to try to crucify what? Me. You didn't understand? But they didn't get me then, and they ain't going to get me now. Want to know why? What's going to protect me? Your love. Your love. You will keep me alive. You follow? Straight up. That's real. Yes, too. Thank you for letting me share that, Chief. I appreciate it. That was, that was cool. What say? Thank you for letting you me share that. I said, thank, oh, I said, thank you for letting me share. Oh, without question, um, I appreciate you. Know, you. And yeah, listen, and I love you. And, uh, I, look, and that's yeah. what I want everybody to do. I want to, I want to know how you all found your way to me. I want to know. I want to know what the beginnings was. Because you can't know where you're going until you first know where you've been. And if you don't know where you've been, complete that where you're going, you're not going to be sure of. You see? So then if, you're, if your foundation is not complete, then I'll do what I can to help. Listen, fill you in. I'll tell you everything that happened from 1974. You feel me? All the way till now. You feel me? You, you'll know yes, you're sitting in the right place. What is bond? B on D. Shit. Bond is real, bond is life. You know, them, them Freemasons got some good shit among them. They got to sit there. A service to my brothers, a service to God. You all got to adopt that. What that means if a man is a traveling man, going from one point A to point B, along the way, you got to give that man your best bedroom, your best car. That's what Freemasons do. Why we don't do it, I don't know. You got to make, listen, you and your wife got to sleep on the floor for him and his wife to have your bed. Because he's a traveling man. He's one of ours. You understand? Shit. Old man. That's real, man. We got to do this shit. Be about it. Don't talk about it. Shit. I'm a sucker for results. And I want all of y'all to know. Each one of y'all are being judged by the love that you show me. Baba said to tell y'all that. You understand? Each one of understand. you. Yes, yes, yes. So, here we go. We can lay low and low because I'm coming your way. I'm a traveling man like what? Now, you didn't know, but now you do. I'm on my way, niggas. I'll be there in a heartbeat. Fast as I can spell able. You hear me? Yes, Ain't going to be yes, just a sound or a voice on the phone no more. I'm going to be looking you right in your face, each and every one of you. You'll be able to hug me. You'll be able to see me. You'll be able to break bread with me. We'll sit and eat together, and that won't be the last supper. That'll be the first one. You hear me? Yes, sir. And I'm risking my very life to get there. You think I ain't? Shit. Now, anybody got any questions? Anybody got any questions in the house? I don't know. Uh, number three. What's the question? Uh, I love you. I love you, Dion. I know love you. <laughs> I know who this is. Love you very much, too. Um, I love you, nigga. <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of a joyous occasion of uh, finally... 
uh, getting together, what is your, as a chef, uh, what is your favorite meal when it comes to eating? What's, what's your favorite dish? Oh, Lord have mercy. I like, you want to know what I like? Yes, sir, I do. Simple. I like top ramen and tuna fish. I like simple things. Right. Top ramen and tuna fish. It's called a spread. It's called a spread in the fish and <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I swear to God. I like I top you. ramen and tuna fish. What's good? You know what I'm saying? Understood. Simple shit, man. Yes, sir. I don't want no whole bunch. But, yo, I'm telling you, so no, I like top ramen and tuna fish. But you got to hook it up. You got to put, uh, um, like, some jalapeno. You got to put some honey. You got to put some, uh, let's see, how we do it in the pan? You know. <laughs> we do what we can to make a meal. I, listen, with all right. we got, you know. There's one top ramen, a can of tuna fish. I put a little mayonnaise, put a little honey up in there. Give me a jalapeno, sweet and sour, you know. And then you would you rock it with whatever you can, you know. You know what to do. I don't know. Shoot. Put a little pickle, <laughs> pickle juice, shit, rub it around, shit. <laughs> Yo. And then you want to rub it all over your body. It tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, I also <laughs> want to thank you. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say right quick, Chief, um, that was the number 11 that before Dion got on. This is number 11, Opariel, number 11. Yeah. I just wanted to tell you because I ain't say my love, number, 11. Okay, I love it. Yes, sir. Okay. I love you more, okay, Chief. Listen, All right, go ahead, Dion. Doing? Now, Brandon, I love y'all, man. Let me say something. Brandon, you're going to text me. Shout out. Shout out. Listen to these people. Uh, I need, I need a copy of all that. I got him. Anthony, I got you. Number 10. Number 10, Ant. I want you to send me those pictures, man. Send those pictures to Brandon. Lose your phones out. Chief, Chief, I'm number Lose seven. Lose your phones out. Chief, you hear me? This is Anthony. I, I, you gave me number seven, Let's Chief. Speak with me. Huh? I said What's you that? gave me number seven. Can you hear me? Yeah, I know. I know the number I gave you, Ant. Let me tell you, I did away with number six for you, you nigga. <laughs> you crazy? <Hello? laughs> no, it's number Ant, seven. You I said seven. We get rid of it. I know. You miss what I'm saying. I threw the number six out to be sure that it don't get nowhere near you, nigga. I love you. Ain't no more number six because I you, said so. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We gave Thank you the number seven. See, now listen, listen, listen. This is what I want you to do. Aunt, please take and send them pictures of Brad.